Virgo, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. We're going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session. All of that info can be found in the description box of this video. And please keep in mind, not all of these readings are in reference to a lover. This could be in reference to a friend, a family member, or a coworker. Let's get into it. Spirit, please provide me with messages for Virgo. What messages do you have for the sign of Virgo, please? Please provide me with messages for Virgo. So I see here, Virgo, that you have someone that's heavily attentive to you. This person is watching you even. They could be watching your social media or just thinking about you often. I feel like they look at old pictures or old text messages. I feel that this could have been something that ended for you or it seems like there's going to be an ending. I see that you're choosing to go in a different direction because there's something that has to do with your investments here with the Ten of Pentacles energy and it's like you're sticking to what you invested so much time into for some reason. But there's this energy of someone that you left behind still wanting to see you. Um, it's like they desire a reconcile. They don't want something to be over is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. Talk to me about this Page of Swords energy. Talk to me about this Page of Swords energy for Virgo, please. Talk to me about the Page of Swords energy. You have somebody that's waiting for you. This person could actually be at a distance, all right? I don't feel like this is someone that lives in your community. They could, you know, but I just feel like they're waiting on you, waiting on a choice that you have to make, a decision. Okay, we have fire energy coming out here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, even more Sagittarius energy that just came out here. So this person is willing to wait patiently. If they have to be patient, then they will. They don't believe that something is over either. So if you told this person that it was over, they don't see that being the permanent case. Tell me more for Virgo. Talk to me about Virgo. We have a fire sign energy here. I feel like the person that you're currently dealing with, because I feel like you have a past person here that wants to reconnect with you, wants to come see you, but I feel like you cut that person off for some reason. And then you have the person that you're dealing with now. Okay, there seems to be two options here. Someone that you're dealing with now, it could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person has some insecurities when it comes to you and someone from the past or just what it is that you're up to in general. Even if you are in a contract with this fire sign right now, um, this person, they seem to not trust you is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Because of another energy. So it's like these people know about each other or something like that. Okay, I don't know if you cut somebody off to be with somebody else or something like that. Um, it's like the person that you're with, if you're in a connection with somebody, they don't trust you. And then you have somebody that you used to deal with and they're just waiting on an opportunity, a chance, like they want to get back together. They've been waiting, they're willing to wait even. Okay, what's the future? For this situation for Virgo. Talk to me about love in the future for Virgo. Talk to me about love in the future for Virgo. 
Okay, so it seems like you're definitely connecting with someone here. The lover's coming out. Please clarify the lover's card in the future. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is what you really want. And even if they don't trust you for some reason, you're trying to prove yourself to this person. And it's like you want them to know that they're your forever person. And even if you have to put in more work, then you're willing to do that. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. There's someone that's so stressed out because of this new direction that you're going in, okay? And they're very anxious about it. They think about this all the time. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming out here. Two of Cups, yeah, it's like someone feels like they lost you here. We have the Chariot. I feel like whomever it is that you left behind, like you think about them too. You definitely always think about this person. There's some sort of movement here that I feel someone desires to have from you or you want to have with them. It's gonna happen because it's what you want. So I don't really feel you caring about what anybody has to say about that. Now you have definitely two options coming through very strongly here, okay? And it doesn't matter what their signs are. However, you have one that's watching you and that's waiting for you and you have the other one that you've invested all of this time into with. And so you have to choose who you want because I feel like you still think about this past person, whomever they are. I feel that from your energy. And you feel bad about something that you did to them is what I'm getting as well. Tell me more here. Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody's very emotional here. Tell me more. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I really get this heavy energy of you and a past person, Virgo. The past person is in highlight here. This person is still on your mind. You still think about them. You're just trying to figure out how to navigate. You do have love in your future here. I see that there. You know, the lover's card with the ace of pentacles. But you really have a decision to make because you keep thinking about this past person and this past person keeps thinking about you. So what are you gonna do, right? I feel like that's what this person is asking. What do you wanna do? All right, that's what I have for you, Virgo. I wanna thank you so much for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.